Hey friends, if Ethernet keeps disconnecting on your Windows system, then please watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. Now, it's a different situation if the Wi-Fi is disconnecting, but if you have used an Ethernet cable, even of the lowest quality and it is disconnecting, then that is a very different kind of issue. So, first of all, you need to be sure that your Internet connection is stable from the Internet uh, provider. But if that is the case, then try the following solutions. First of all, run the network adapter troubleshooter. Right click on the start button. Select settings from the menu. Go to the system tab on the list on the left hand side. Select troubleshoot in the right pane. Select other troubleshooters and click on run corresponding to the network adapter troubleshooter. And then the next one is to update the network adapter drivers. How would you do that? Search for device manager in the windows search bar and open the network adapter drivers. Right click on the MediaTek one and select update driver and search automatically for drivers. And then the next one is to make changes to the driver power management. So search for device manager in the windows search bar and open device manager. Expand the list for network adapters. Right click on the MediaTek one. Select properties and okay, not the MediaTek one, but uh, let us say the uh, Ethernet one. I don't have an Ethernet here, but it will show it. Select properties and go to the power management tab. Uncheck the box associated with allow this uh, the computer to turn off this device to save power and click on OK. You'll find it with the Ethernet drivers, by the way. I don't have them. The last solution is network reset, which will almost definitely fix the problem. So, right click on the start button, select settings from the menu, go to the network and internet tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, select advanced network settings and then scroll down and click on network reset. Click on reset now and then click on yes to initiate the network reset process. Now, a network reset will reset the contents, uh, reset the TCP IP protocol, it will reset uh, WinSock, it will flush DNS and do a lot, lot more things which will definitely fix the issue. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel. If not, then let us know in the comment section of the video on how we could help you further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.